What's up YouTube? This is Dimitri and I thought I would do a little before and after putting the diffusers on my Radeon XR30 Gen 3 Pros. This is a newer build that I have. I had previously had the Elo 70 where this Elos 120 sits now and haven't gotten quite around to doing a video of the upgrade that I did, but I will eventually get to do it. But I figured I would do a quick before and after of the XR30 diffusers. I uh, previously was running a T5 Aquatic Life hybrid light with a Kessel A360 in the center, and I really enjoyed that. But I came upon a deal for these used uh, XR30s from a friend of mine, and it was just too good to pass up. And I've had really good experience using the Gen 3 Pros before. Uh, previously on some of my older videos, I was using two XR15s on the ELO 70. And uh, it's probably the best that my tank had ever really ran. But I will be honest, there is the, it, the, the XR30s or the, the Radeons, I should say, do have that bit of TV static look to them. And I was going to try and get a little before and after to see what it looked like. So what I'll do is I'll try to get as close as I can here and try and catch, now that does it pretty good. So you can see it's not quite blended and it has that really TV staticky effect to it. And I know it picks it up a little more on the sand, mostly because my sand is really bright white, but I didn't really notice it as much before on the old Elos that I had with the two XR15s. And I don't know if it's because that's less pucks or because I ran bare bottom. I did notice after a while that it doesn't seem to do it as much once the once rock like darkens up. Like you see here, you can see the static really bad. But if you go to a darker rock, you don't see it as much. And I think... A lot of that has to do with the different color spectrums just show up a lot more on white. But I've been looking forward to trying out these diffusers and uh, let's put them on. Alright guys, here we are. We got the diffusers installed and so far I am really, really impressed with the diffusers themselves. It's blending the light a lot better. It lost a lot of that really bad static and uh, you could really before pick out the reds and greens and all those individual colors. And it's just, you know, you know how it looks. It looks like TV static. But now it's a lot more crisp. And it, I'm not sure on whether the shadowing looks better. But everything just in general looks brighter. Also, I think, too, because... To make up for the par loss, it's about a 20% loss with the diffusers on. So I upped my intensity by 15% just to not to go over too much, but just to see where I was at. And I think just the fact of having it be that much brighter, even though if it's losing par, it's still brighter, I think, in my opinion, spreading the light out a lot more. I will, if I would give these things out of a five star rating, I'd probably give them a three star because the one complaint I had. And I read about them on uh, some of the BRS forums and stuff like that. Is that this the unit itself is doesn't really fit all that well. I don't know if it's different for the Gen 4s, but there was the cables going to the individual LED pucks were in the way. Um, even still, after kind of smashing them down a little bit, it still doesn't fit all the way super flush and you can see there's some light leaking through this is the best that i could actually get them so i would take two stars off for that because in the video they show them just clip it on and looks super easy but it, it's not and quite a few other people have obviously had this problem too but in terms of how it looks i'm on the uh, actual tank itself ignoring the lights i'm going to give that a five out of five because it looks so much better versus that tv static that was there before anyways thanks for watching if you have any questions comment if you want to see any more of my videos like and subscribe and take it easy